to 6, the Pulpa police arrest a couple after finding their severely malnourished 11-year-old boy with a black eye and hiding behind a dumpster at a gas station. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. Officers say Stephanie Denton and Sean Dethridge lock that boy in a closet, but he managed to break out and run away from home. News on 6's Reagan Ledbetter is live with why investigators believe the boy was tortured. Reagan? Craig and Lori investigators tell me the boy weighed only 58 pounds and should weigh twice that. They say he had bruises all over his body and cigarette burns on his arms. A Sepulpa police officer found the 11 year old boy hiding behind a dumpster at this gas station in the middle of the night. They say the boy was only wearing a pair of oversized shorts. He ran away. Um, he was uh, very hungry, and so he was at the dumpster looking for food. The officer took him uh, to a convenience store here in town to get some more food. The boy told investigators he was forced to sleep in a closet, and his parents would lock him in there. They said the boy was forced to urinate in a soda bottle. Police took the boy to the hospital, where investigators say they found more than a dozen injuries on his body. He had a black eye. He had bruising to uh, the inside and outside of one of his ears. He had... Uh, cigarette burns on his arm. He, he wasn't wearing a shirt. You could see his just bones through his skin. I was told whenever he did put a shirt on, you could just see his heartbeat through the shirt. He was that skinny. Investigators say Sean Deathridge beat the boy, burned him with cigarettes, and dragged the boy across the carpet, causing burns on his back, all as punishment. Police said the boy's mother, Stephanie Denton, told officers the injuries were self-inflicted and said the boy was skinny because everyone in the family is skinny. Captain Mike Soul says the officer who found the boy went above and beyond to help. Call it luck, call it divine inter intervention. For some reason, she found him and absolutely, you know, uh, her finding him probably saved his life. Now, both Deathridge and Denton have been booked into the Creek County Jail for child abuse and neglect. Now, the boy has been in the hospital for about five days now and could be there for another couple of weeks, but I'm told he is improving. Reagan Ledbetter, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.